to effectively understand network communication. Utilizing layered models, such as the OSI model, can provide a framework for representing and explaining networking concepts and technologies. The OSI model is primarily used as a tool for explaining networking concepts and troubleshooting. To fully grasp these concepts, it is important to be familiar with the layers of the OSI model and understand how they relate to each other. Let's take a look at each layer and its function starting off with the top layer and moving to the bottom. Layer 7, Application, provides an interface between the application and the network. It provides services such as file transfer, email, and remote login. Layer 6, Presentation, it deals with data representation and encryption. It is responsible for converting data into a standard format that can be understood by both the sender and the receiver. Layer 5, Session, establishes, maintains, and terminates sessions between applications. It is responsible for managing the dialogue between the applications and ensuring that data is exchanged correctly. Layer 4, Transport, provides end-to-end -end communication services and ensures that data is delivered reliably and in order. The main protocol associated with this layer is TCP. Layer 3, Network, routes data packets between different networks. It is responsible for addressing and routing data packets through the network. The main protocol associated with this layer is IP. Layer 2, Data Link provides a link between the network and the physical layer. It is responsible for detecting and correcting errors that occur on the physical media. Protocols associated with this layer include Ethernet and PPP. Layer 1, Physical, defines the electrical, mechanical, and functional specifications for the physical connection between devices. It is responsible for transmitting and receiving data over the physical media. This table summarizes the layers of the OSI model and provides a brief functional description. Memorizing the name and order of the layers in the OSI model can be difficult, but a mnemonic phrase can be helpful. The following mnemonic uses the first letter of each word to represent the corresponding layer, with A standing for the application layer. All people seem to need data processing. This phrase can assist in easily recalling the order of the layers in the OSI model from the top to bottom. As application data is passed down the protocol stack on its way to be transmitted across the network media, Various protocols add information to it at each level. This is commonly known as the encapsulation process. The data structure at any given layer is called a protocol data unit, PDU. Let's take a look at the PDUs at each layer of the OSI model. The following steps provide an overview of the communication process from a source to a destination. Step 1. Data is created at the application layer of the originating source device. Step 2. The data travels down the protocol stack of the source device, where it is divided into smaller segments and encapsulated with additional information. Step 3. The data is transmitted onto the physical media at the network access layer of the source device's protocol stack. Step 4. The data is then sent through the internetwork, which may consist of various types of media and intermediary devices. Step 5. The destination device receives the data at the network access layer of its protocol stack. Step 6. The data then travels up the protocol stack of the destination device, where it is decapsulated and reassembled into its original form. Step 7. The data is finally passed to the intended application at the application layer of the destination device. Thanks for watching our video on the OSI model. We hope you have a better understanding of how this important conceptual framework helps organize and explain the functioning of networks. If you have any further questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on networking, ethical hacking, and other related topics. Until next time, take care and happy learning.